If you're teaching your toddler the kid's song A, B, C, D, E, stop. The alphabet song might be preventing your child from learning how to read. In this video, I'm going to explain why and give you a better approach to teaching phonetic sounds. So what's the fuss with the alphabet song? And why could it do more harm than good? Yes, the ABCs are a great way to introduce your child to the letter names. But as your toddler is learning to read, it could confuse them. As adults, reading comes so naturally to us. But for toddlers, we have to break down reading into two skills, letter recognition and phonemic awareness. Letter recognition, as the name suggests, is being able to identify letters by looking at them. By age three, toddlers should be able to recognize a few letters, usually the letters that start with their own names. Phonemic awareness is not just recognizing letters, but being able to pronounce the sounds they make in words. Take the letter A, for instance. In the alphabet song, it's pronounced as A. So in the song, it's making the long vowel sound. But that's not how it sounds in the words children will learn to read in the beginning, which often uses a short vowel sound. It's usually pronounced as A ah, in words like cat, bat, apple. It's not Kate or April. It's the same for other letters, like B should be pronounced as B, like in ball or bat. So to help your child read faster, rather than teaching them the alphabet, what I would do is first teach them the phonetic sounds of the letters. I do this for my son who is now 18 months old and he can now pronounce six phonetic sounds. It's also what I do for my students. Then I start introducing them to words that start with those phonetic sounds. It's fun to go through themes like vegetables or cars with those phonetic sounds. I have a whole video available in my channel with me doing the phonetic sounds of different vegetables. I also have a picture book available on Amazon that you can buy to teach your toddler phonetic sounds using fruits and vegetables. In Montessori, once children have mastered their phonetic sounds and have an idea of how words are a composition of different letter sounds, they then learn three letter words using the pink scheme to help them progress in their language development. The pink scheme series introduces children to reading, spelling, and writing three letter phonetic words. In Montessori, children are taught to spell using movable alphabets, with consonants colored in red and vowels in blue. This helps children to understand the role that consonants and vowels play in word formations. To begin teaching them how to spell, you can start off by teaching them how to spell words with three-letter phonetic sounds. These are words like cat, dog, bug, lip, or head. Begin by asking them what's the beginning sound? the next sound, then the last sound. Now it's important for them to learn terms related to sequencing because they will be hearing the words first, next, and last a lot. Once finished, read the words to them, exaggerating the sounds of the letters as you're reading them to show how the combination of sounds creates a word. For instance, when you're reading cat, you can read it like at. This spells cat. If you want to teach your child how to read quickly using the Montessori method, I have a whole video right here. I share the five-step system I use to help my child and students learn how to read and spell. I hope to see you there. Stay fresh.